Hey guys, Kieran here. I am here to do a video on the review of two books. One book I do not have with me. Sorry, the cat is trying to knock down stuff off my bookshelf. Um, because I lent it to my mother today. But it's very similar to this one. Why do dogs like balls? And it also has more than 200 canine quirks, curiosities, and conundrums revealed. Uh, the other one was just like this, but about cats. So it was, why do cats bury their poop? And then more than 200 feline questions and answers, basically. Um, it's by D. Carolyn Coyle, Ph.D., and Margaret H. Bonham. Uh, they both were, I believe. Um, actually, the cat one, I know it was by Margaret H. Bonham, but I think it was a guy, possibly, author also on the cat one. Anyways... These books, they're they're very good books. Uh, first of all, they are easy to understand, easy questions and answers. Um, nothing too in depth, uh, and they're the questions that we all want to know. So I, I find I found them so interesting, and they're humorous too. The one. Um, the one that I let my mother, because she has two cats, obviously it's the cat one. And it was funny because this morning, we sleep with our door open sometimes. Um, and But this morning we had our door open for a long time, me and my husband. And then my husband went to shut it later on in the morning. And the cat was in our room the whole time. The cat, the new cat we have always stays in my room. And as soon as my husband shut the door, the cat was at the door then trying to get out. And he's just like, how come... The door was open for how many hours you didn't go out. And now that I shut the door, you're immediately by the door wanting to go out. And it just so happens that that was a question in the book. Um, and the answer basically was that cats are very curious. Um, they want to know what's behind the door, even though the door may have been open for hours. And also, too, um, part of the reason is because territory. Because you've locked them out of part of their territory. Sorry, he's, she, is getting into trouble. Um, another thing they had asked, which I found, sorry, which I found uh, informative and interesting was, you know when cats need, when they need their paws on things um, and their nails may come out for just a split second? Um, and they'll usually do it to people, too. They need them. Well, she does this. This is like I said, our new cat. We've had her about, it's going to be going on two weeks, I believe. Um, and she does that to me a lot. And it's said in there that they need things because it's a sign of affection. Um, so that was pretty cool. Another, another question on the cats was, um, another thing I was curious about, she sleeps by me all the time, always leaning against me or sleeping on top of me. And the other two cats don't do that as much. They'll sleep by you. Um, well, Dexter, my son's cat, does sleep smack against him. Um, and so, of course, I'm like, oh, she loves me already, you know. And it's because you're warm. Uh, cats like to be by warm things, and you're like a big water bottle, warm water bottle to them. So that's why they do that. Um, I'm sure they like you too. but So, yeah, so they're very, very uh, interesting books. So, like I said, questions that the the weird things or the little things or the just quirky things that, you know, um, we just want to know the answers to. So the same thing with this one. Um, example, let's see. Um, since I have this one right in front of me, <clears throat> why do dogs chase cats? Uh, why do some dogs chase cars? Um, and they had said because dogs don't actually see the cars as cars. They see them as big uh, prey. Um, so yeah, uh, there were some cute ones in here too. Um, let me see if I can find them now again. Because yeah, there's just, um, can you trust someone your dog hates? Oh, that was another thing too. Um, definitely things taken from both books or like what have you. See, she's scratching at the door now. The door is open the whole time and now she wants to go out. You're going to have to wait. Um, since I read the cat one first, 
I noticed things as I was reading the dog one, like literally word for word things that were in the cat one. So obviously a lot of things are interchangeable with the two. Um, let me see. Do dogs get pimples? Uh, it says hitting the teenage years can be really tough, especially if acne rears its ugly blackhead. Once again, it looks like our dogs have lucked out. But guess again, dogs too can get acne and blackheads and can get them at, at as early as three months of age. The acne usually appears on the chin and lower lip, but can also be on the groin area. To treat those unsightly pimples, it's best to have your vet prescribe an acne wash and ointment. Of course, even with clear skin, there's still, there's still no guarantee he'll get a date. So, like, little, just humorous little things in there. Um, so, yeah. And they're divided up into sections. So, like, the dog book is, <coughs> excuse me, dog behavior. You have dog, uh, canine intelligence, dog's emotions, canine body, dog senses, the sexual dog, dog care, and then more questions. And so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, actually, I like the more canine questions because those are seem to be more things that are a little bit more important. Um, how hard is the average dog bite? Can dogs get the plague? Is cocoa malt harmful to pets? Why do dogs bite people? <laughs> What's the ugliest dog? Let's see what they say. At the Sonoma Marin Fair in Petaluma, California, Sam the Chinese Crested, which I would have probably thought the Chinese Crested, if you're not familiar with those, the Chinese Crested are the hairless dogs. Um, they usually have those, some hair on them, usually around their ankles. I think it's base of their tail um, and somewhere else. Um, then there's the power, Powder Puff Chinese Cresteds like Jackson Pierce has, the author. Um, and that one has hair. And hers is so cute. Um, but yeah, he won the ugliest world's ugliest dog contest in 2005 at the ripe old age of 14. However, due to age-related illnesses, Sam passed away later that year. The next year, the title was won by another Chinese crested named Archie. And while Archie is no beauty queen, we have to agree that Sam is so far the all-time ugliest dog. If you ever watch Animal Planet, they have a special on that. And the one Chinese crested on there that won, his tongue's sticking out the side of his mouth. He's missing teeth, uh, which they are known for that. Um, and I don't know what the heck she's doing. Um, but, yeah, so but that's off topic from the books. Um, yeah, so these books are just, they're fun. They're fun, informative, interesting books. Can you tickle a dog? Do dogs get boogers? Um, yeah, and some of these questions, like I said, are exactly the ones that are in the cat book. Um, do dogs feel jealousy and spite? <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, if you have a dog or a cat, hold on one second. Shut up! I'm so sorry. Like, that covered your ears. If you, you guys have dogs or cats, you should definitely pick up these books. Um, they are by Sterling, um, Sterling Publishing. But like I said, this one does, Why Do Dogs Like Balls? <laughs> and the other one's Why Do Cats Cover Their Poop? Um, they're not real long. They're both under 200 pages. So um, they do have an index in the back of them also. So if you just quickly want to look up something, you can do that also. Uh, it does tell you about the authors in the back, which I always like reading that. Um, so yeah, it's, a uh, definitely, definitely interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so yeah, and there's also a table of contents too, which is cool, so. Alright guys, that is it for right now. Those are my two reviews, um, on the dog and cat books. Okay, take care. Bye.